It's going drill bit on us now. Tornadoes come in many shapes and sizes. And we always hope for photogenic tornadoes. Ones that are clearly visible over open country, disturbing little more than winter wheat and gopher holes. Skinny ropes, cones, tendrils of dust and cloud, multiple vortices, white snakes, and sometimes they weren't born to walk alone. And although I've seen nearly 40 tornadoes in eight years of largely casual storm chasing, one kind of tornado has eluded me until now.
scraped up dirt. Wedge tornadoes rarely start as such, often beginning as a multi-vortex tornado or a cone. So let's explore how to make a tornado and how this one became a wedge. First you need a supercell thunderstorm. In the northern hemisphere, the left rear or southwestern corner of supercell thunderstorm is the updraft, or the storm's intake. Below the updraft, a wall cloud forms as the condensation layer below drops in altitude, thanks to drawing slightly cooler moist air from the nearby rainfall north of the updraft. In more powerful supercells, this wall cloud rotates as the storm ingests air. Next, a rear flanking downdraft or a column of rain cooled air, rain, and large hail enters from behind the wall cloud. Should this RFD cut just south of the wall cloud and wrap around it, the wall cloud tightens and speeds up. A funnel cloud may appear. And if various factors don't kill the updraft at this point by undercutting or gusting out, like an ice skater switching to an upright spin, the updraft tightens and spins faster. The funnel condenses closer to the ground and a tornado is born. But to make this a wedge, we need to go one step further. A final, large, and relatively dry RFD surge immediately followed tornado genesis, enveloping the entire mesocycle and condensing it all the way to the ground. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe so you don't miss future content such as storms, northern lights, celestial wonders, and more. Get outside and learn something new.